Today we will be showing you how to replace a faulty tape drive in a quantum scalar I-40 and I-80 tape library. Please be advised, this replacement will not require the library to be powered down. However, if there are any backup jobs that target the drive you will be replacing, they will need to be placed on hold. The drive that you are replacing will be offline for the duration of the replacement. Please note, if you have more than one failed drive, follow this procedure for one drive at a time only. Attempting to offline and replace multiple drives at one time may result in problems. We would like to start by giving you some information about how the I-40 and I-80 configure the tape drives inside it. All tape drives in the library are assigned a dynamic serial number and a dynamic hardware address. The dynamic hardware address will either be a worldwide name or SAS address depending on what interface drive you have. What this actually means is that the two-digit drive location within the library, for example 0, 1, is assigned these specific dynamic values. They are unique to that drive bay location, not the physical drive itself. This means the drive can be replaced and the dynamic information for the drive bay location can be written to the replacement drive so that any hardware attached to the drive will not need to be reconfigured to use it properly. With that in mind, please understand that if you do not follow the steps in this guide in the order that they are explained, you will run the risk of the replacement drive being installed without allowing the dynamic information to be written to it properly, and this may cause a number of issues. The second thing we would like to inform you about is the control path setup of the library. When you create partitions in the library, each partition will have a control path drive. If the drive you are replacing is a control path drive for a partition, please note that when you take the drive offline for replacement, it will also take the rest of that partition offline and you will be unable to use any drives in that partition for the duration of the replacement. Once the drive is replaced and brought back online, the rest of the partition will be usable once again. To begin, you will need to identify the drive that needs to be replaced. The most common way will be to log in through the web GUI and view the Drives section, which will show you the drive errors currently on the library. When you click on the Details button of the error, it will show you the element location of the drive within the library. This will be in the form of a two-digit address, for example 0, 1. The drives for these libraries are numbered from the bottom up. For an I-40, they are 0, 1 and 0, 2. For an I-80, they are 0, 1 through 0, 5. Once you have identified where the faulty drive is located, you will need to put the drive offline for replacement. There are two ways to do this. The first is from the web GUI, and the second is from the operator panel. From the web GUI, you will need to go under the operations menu, and then under drives and change mode. You will see all of the drives listed by their hardware location. Next to the drive that needs to be replaced, you will see a button that says Online. If you click it, it will change to Offline, and you can then hit Apply at the bottom. If you are using the Operator Panel to offline the drive, go into the Actions tab at the bottom, and then go to Tape Drive, and then Change Mode. From here will be displayed all of the drives in the library according to their hardware address position. When you find the drive that corresponds to the hardware address that you identified from the error earlier, hit the Modify button, and then hit the Down button to select Offline. You can now hit Apply at the bottom, and it will take that drive offline. Now when you go around to the rear of the library, you should see that the drive you have just turned offline will not have the power light green. This means it is now ready for removal. If you do not find the drive that has a not green power light, please go back and double check that you turn the drive offline properly using the previous steps. If you cannot turn the drive into an offline state, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Once you have located the drive that does not have the green power light, undo the host cable from the back of the drive. Once the cable is undone, you can then undo the two silver thumb screws that hold the drive in place in the library. When they are both undone, you can use the handle on the back of the drive to pull the drive straight back and out of the library. You are now ready to insert the replacement drive. Line the drive up with the guide rails in the drive channel that is now vacant where the faulty drive had been located. Push firmly, seating the drive and ensuring that the thumb screws are now tightened down completely and secure the drive in place. You can then reconnect your host cable to the back of the drive. You will notice that the tape drive LED is red for up to 30 seconds and then will change to amber. This means the drive is installed but offline. 
At this point, your tape drive may need to auto-level the firmware on it in order to bring it level to the rest of the drives in the library. It needs to be very carefully noted that if this is an HP brand tape drive, the firmware required for auto-leveling is included in the library firmware package. However, if this is an IBM branded drive, you will need to have the appropriate firmware file uploaded through the web GUI that allows the drive to be auto-leveled. If you do not have this file or are having issues getting the drive to auto level, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. To bring the drive online from the front panel, go into the Actions tab at the bottom and then go to Tape Drive and then Change Mode. Select the drive that you replaced, hit the Modify selection, and then hit the Up button to select Online. You can now hit Apply at the bottom and it will bring the drive back online. From the Web GUI, go into Operations then Drive, and Change Mode. Hit the Offline button next to the drive you replaced and change it to Online, and then hit Apply at the bottom and it will bring the drive online. You now will need to clear all diagnostic tickets associated with the faulty tape drive that you removed. If you continue having issues after the tape drive replacement has been completed, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.